I am always talking to the girls and the guys who are considering things that they really want to do um, to enhance themselves um, or better themselves mentally, emotionally, physically, and have been afraid to reach out for help or have been afraid because somebody in their life has been negative about it and they don't have any support. I am here for that that person. I'm here for those people. Thought I did that travel and I see you fine. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Wendy and this is Wendy with the Eye. Um today we're gonna be talking about basically something that I've been hinting at in the past few videos but I haven't talked about it yet. And I figured now's the time. Now's the time to talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's go. So yeah. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> if you're new to this channel, um, my name is Wendy. Again, this is Wendy with the eye and on my channel, I share with you what I have my eye on as far as fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel for the most part. Um, but I also delve into subjects like home decor and um, weight loss and yeah, just, you know, all the good stuff. So if that seems like something that you would be interested to partake in one or two times a week, <laughs> Um, please think about subscribing um, and hitting that bell notification so you won't miss every time that I upload a video, which I'm trying to do two times a week. So yeah, you don't want to miss it. I am delaying the news. I'm delaying letting you guys know what's going on. <laughs> And not because it's bad, it's definitely not bad. I think it's great, but I will tell you that this is something that normally I would not share with anyone outside my super, super, super duper, duper small circle. <laughs> so yeah, so, this, so it's a little bit like not nerve wracking, not like intimidating either, but it's just like, I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I don't know. Um, just not something that I normally would just like share, but, but, but now <laughs> that I am on social media and my purpose for being on social media and specifically long form social media, like YouTube is to share my experiences with other people who may have, you know, may have felt or feel the way I do about certain things and to help and be like a resource. And so that's what I plan on doing with this. And so that makes me even more excited. And, and so like I'm dancing in my chair, um, makes it makes me even more excited to do this because I've wanted to do this for a long time and to share. So here it goes. So guys, I am going to be getting cosmetic surgery and I am so super excited about it. I am so excited about it. So, so excited about it. If you knew my story, y'all, y'all would be excited for me. <laughs> I'm telling you, you would. Um, and I do plan on sharing a little bit of my story um, for sure. I'll try to be very succinct and brief, uh, like through everything and um, and give you some information, hopefully. So, okay. So the three things that I want to cover um, in this video is basically why I am, I am getting cosmetic surgery, what I am getting, and where I am getting it. Um, I am not gonna share like when just yet. Um, the procedure is booked. It is not paid for yet, but we are working on that. And I do plan on like 
um, documenting the process some kind of way. I don't really know how. We'll just, we're going to wing it. We're just going to wing it, but we're going to document. So super excited about all this too. So anyway, so why am I getting cosmetic surgery? Um, so I feel like I have addressed a lot of things about myself in previous videos. I will pop up a few um, on the channel and also kind of list a few below in the um, <clears throat> in the comments section, um, just to kind of give you like some backstory on kind of like me and some of the challenges that I faced as far as like weight, body image, um, self-image, self-esteem, right? Because um, all that does play a part. Um, now, let me let me preface and say that, first of all, um, for a very long time, I was not a very happy person. And, and again, I've talked about this in previous videos that I would I would suggest you go back and watch um, because it definitely does a better job, I think, of kind of laying out all of that. But I'm just saying that um, now is kind of like a beginning um, so yes, for a long, for a long time, I did not really kind of like myself. I didn't like the way I looked. I didn't like, you know, I just didn't like a lot of things about my, myself, but I will tell you now that is not, <laughs> that is not an issue. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I will tell you that some of my friends are, were like, um, so, so Wendy, like, like, um, we can't tell you nothing now, like when when you have your surgery like are, are we still gonna be friends like are you still gonna be friends with me and so I, I I just I think I thought that was comedy but it is quite true I I do I do like myself and love myself and I love the way I look not just my face but I love my body like I love I just I love the way I look I think I'm I think I'm that girl and uh you can't tell me no different. Like you just can't. So and it, it has taken me a long time to get here. It has taken me 41 years to get here. But I think both can be true. I think that you can love yourself and you could also want to like enhance, improve, you know, things about yourself. Um, and that's exactly what is happening here with this. So I think um um <sighs> So where, where do I go from here? Um, so we've talked about weight loss. We've talked about the weight. Um, I definitely do want to lose more weight, especially before the procedure, just because I want the procedure to be as successful and look as great as it can. Um, and to do that, I need to lose some weight. And so, um, so that's something that I definitely want to do. But for me, it's, it's really, really, really honestly not about, it's not about weight, specifically with this, these procedures. It's about my body shape. So I am shaped like an inverted triangle apple shape. I carry most of my weight um, in my midsection and upper body. So I am a lot more like I'm till I like I am so much more. I'm so much more bigger on top than I am on the bottom. Um, and I think you guys can tell that like in videos that I do, like, cause I do Shein hauls and you know, I show you guys what I'm wearing, outfits of the day. Like I have no problem doing that because <laughs> listen, your girl, your girl is a fashionista <laughs> and she looks good in what she puts, puts on. And, you know, I appreciate that, that about myself, but there are just things that I can't wear because of my shape. And so I definitely want to change that. Um, so, yeah, so that is really kind of the main reason that I am um, doing cosmetic surgery. I've been wanting to do cosmetic surgery for over 10 years now. Um, I've actually had cosmetic surgery booked before. I've actually gone to the city that I was going to have cosmetic surgery. I actually was on the table the day of cosmetic surgery and it just didn't work out. 
And I believe, I truly believe that was God intervening and saying, this is not the time. This is not the time for you. You aren't ready yet. You aren't ready mentally. You aren't ready emotionally. You just aren't ready. And he was absolutely right. And I think back now and I just thank goodness that I had a really amazing, <clears throat> I picked really amazing um, doctors and nurses and facilities to work with before because they could have just took my money and just did whatever and not, you know, help me through all of that. Um, they could have done that and they didn't. And so I'm, I'm grateful for them as well. God first and then definitely grateful for the people that I initially was going to go with um, for cosmetic surgery. Um, so, yeah, so that is kind of the first part of it, like why I want to do cosmetic, cosmetic surgery. So the next question is, <laughs> what is she getting done? What is your girl getting done? Um, yeah, your girl... Your girl is um your girl is doing doing some things, okay? She's doing some things. And let me say this too. Um, I probably should have said this in the beginning, but we're here now. Um, if you have anything negative to say, keep it to yourself because I feel like videos like these do get a lot of hate because I think people there are some people out there that just think cosmetic surgery is the worst but that's your opinion and everybody has one and everybody doesn't but everybody doesn't need to hear it and so i am talking to those people who are considering like i always am i am always talking to the girls and the guys who are considering things that they really want to do um to enhance themselves um are better themselves mentally emotionally physically and have been afraid to reach out for help or have been afraid because somebody in their life has been negative about it and they don't have any support. I am here for that that person. I'm here for those people. Um, so if you are the person that has been negative in somebody's life about something like this, you can click off this video. <laughs> like just being honest, like you just can and it's okay. Um, this is not the video for you. So back to it. Um, so what am I getting done? Um, I am getting a tummy tuck. I am getting 360 lipo. So that's lipo, um, all the way around. Right. But I've also said, I also said, right. That my upper body is not just my midsection, but it's my upper body that is out of proportion. And so I'm also getting a back lift which is, well, we'll talk about it in a second, a back lift and then um, a small, well, I don't even know how you, how you can do a small or not, but a very natural B, B, BBL. Those are the things that I'm getting. So let's talk through it. Okay. So I think self-explanatory tummy tuck. Um, I have FUPA. I have pudges that I just don't want to be there don't want them to be there anymore I've had them for it feels like forever but I look back at pictures and I've showed you guys pictures before of like me in college even and I'm like I don't remember I don't remember looking like that but I didn't have that and I just I'm like goodness if I like if I would have known then what I know now but that's neither here nor there because we are it's we are 20 plus years forward and we can't we there's no going back. So anyways, so that's self-explanatory. 360 lipo is basically lipo all around your midsection. So your flanks, your back, and also because when you get a tummy tuck, like if they don't do lipo as well as the tummy tuck, you're still gonna be pudgy there. You just there the tummy tuck just gets rid of the skin and the fat, um, the lipo gets rid of like the the pudge that is left behind when you're like stretching everything out. So I'm getting that. So the back lift is um, another thing I'm getting. So basically because I have more like fat up here, like here and, 
and up and down. And because the lipo is going to take that off, but still it's gonna leave like skin, like rolls of skin, we're gonna take the skin off in the upper body, in the, you know, the back, right? The back area. So, so we're doing the back lift. And then I think the BBL, well, it's funny because my doctor, um, she's on social media and I'll talk about her in a second, but she's on social media and she does a lot of like educational information, um, po informational posts. And she did talk about, I think I saw something where she talked about a BBL and really it's incorrect. So like a BBL is really not like a lift. It's just transferring fat to your butt. <clears throat> Not necessarily like lifting your butt, but just like putting more volume in your butt. And so um, initially I thought, you know, I would be able to like do all the other stuff without getting a BBL because it would give me the illusion of like having a better shape or a bigger derriere because right now I, I just don't. I've got like this little cuff at the bottom, but I don't really have much of nothing. But, uh, <laughs> but um Adding volume will definitely just help in creating a more natural shape for me. And so those are the procedures that I plan on getting. Or not that I plan on, that I am getting. Um, and I'm super excited about it. So yeah, so that is, that's, that's all of them. So finally, in this video, I'm gonna talk about um, where I'm going. So I have my, my little folder here. As you can see, I'm going to the Nashville Plastic Surgery Institute, obviously in Nashville. Um, and it's at Maxwell Aesthetics. And my doctor is Dr. Amaka. Um, I don't know how to say her last name, um, but it's N-W-U-B-A-H. And she is a black woman surgeon extraordinaire. Okay. And so, um, yeah, so I'm, so I'm super excited to be in her hands. Um, I will tell you, she is on social, all the social media. She is on YouTube. She is on Instagram. She is on TikTok. And she does amazing, like, educational videos about why things happen the way they do, what you need for this, what is what. She's just amazing, I think. And um, I have met her um, and she is just like how she is on social media is how she is in person. Like she, I feel like she's amazing. And so um, I will, I think I'm putting like a little montage. Well, it's not a montage. It's like a little video <laughs> of me in the office, like but right before I met her. Um, but yeah, so, so yeah, so, um, I decided that, and I've, listen, I, I told you I've wanted to do this over 10 years, right? I have, I've got over 10 years of research on a bunch of different doctors in a bunch of different locations. Um, and I really, like, she stood out for me for, from anybody else. Um, first, like, when you are in the hands of somebody that lo looks like you, you just feel better. Like, I feel like you just feel more, like, you feel, there's, like, a comfort, I feel like, a comfort level of, that per the that the person that you are looking in that you're staring at their eyes, you're looking at them, you're asking questions, like you just feel a comfort that like they have the same like they they just kind of get you, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um and that's definitely how I felt I felt that way with her. Um I feel like she got me. Um, also, like if you look at her results and her patient pictures and the patient stories, it's just A1, like just top of the top, like just amazing. Um, her before and, for and afters are so natural. Um, in some cases, it just, it doesn't look like they, anybody's had surgery at all. It just look, looks like a naturally beautiful woman. And um, that's exactly 
what I want. Like, I don't want anything that's like overly just like, like, you know, <laughs> that person, you know, I don't want anybody to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, she's had some, you know. Um, and like for those that they, they want the enhancements like that, like, listen, do what you want to do. But for me, I wanted something that looked like supernatural, like super just like I was born. Like that's how I was meant to look, you know, that's kind of, that's kind of what I was looking for, for someone who would give me that look. And so that is where I'm going. Um, I'm super, 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 super excited. Um, I think I might do another video on like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'll do another video. Um, but I did, this was something that I did want to talk about because I, I've been like, I've been hinting at it, but I haven't like done anything um, besides hinting at it. And so um, I definitely wanted to give that update. Um, now we'll say I might do another video. Like if um, I have enough people like ask me questions or um, say they want to know like different things about whatever, um, I might do another video, like a question and answer video or something. Um, and I'll also, um, I'll pose that question or I'll pose that to um, the people over on Instagram as well, because I am pretty, I am really active on Instagram. <laughs> I'm very active on Instagram, okay? So if you're not following me on Instagram, you definitely need to, like you're missing out. So you need to go over there and just follow me now. I'm also active on TikTok, um, more of a watcher, <laughs> but I do post every now and then, but I'm more of a watcher over there. But um, you can definitely follow me over there too, because I do post, I will post over there as well. So two main places that I go. I also do have a Facebook not as active, but I'm definitely on there as well. And so you can follow me there too. So, <laughs> um, anyways, oh, that was really funny. <laughs> what was it? I, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Just, <laughs> just bear, bear with me. Okay. All right, guys. I think that's it for this video. I will tell you, um, what I want to do, um, I guess I will kind of talk about this a little bit at the end of this video, and I'll probably talk about it again on the next video that I do similar to this, um, but I am, um, I'm an engineer by education, and so I purpose that and I say, that's kind of where I get like, I'm super structured, organized, like I need things to have a place, I need processes for things, and so um, for this channel, even though it's like very, fairly new, it's very new, <laughs> fairly new, it's very new. Um, I would like to like start laying the foundation to have, you know, some type of format and structure. And so I know that it's not going to be, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to get it right the first time I try, but um, I definitely want to try to do some things, see what works, see what doesn't. And um, you guys will let me know. So, um, so in saying all of that, what I want to do is because I'm posting two days a week now. Boop, boop, boop. Yep, two days a week now. Yeah, two days a week now. <laughs> um, I want Sunday to be kind of like the the fashion, the beauty, you know, the you know, get done up and and talk to the people kind of videos and then I want like the midweek video to be more like vlog type but with a purpose and like in my current life lifestyle it's it's all about kind of like weight loss and pushing myself to like let's get this weight down so that when I do have this surgery it's gonna be fire fire so yeah so that's what that's that's what I'm thinking and that's what I'm going to be doing. So um so yeah, just let me know if you like it. If if you don't um then maybe give some suggestions. Don't just say I don't like this. If you're going to say you don't like it, then give me a suggestion or something, okay? So yeah, so that's how I like to take criticism. I don't really like to take it, but you know, I'm asking. <laughs> 
for your sake. I'm asking for you guys. I want this channel to be successful and I want to be as big of a help as I possibly can. So, um, so y'all just let me know how it helps you or if it, if it helps you anyways. Okay. So that is all. That is all I have. Um, and if you have any questions about anything that I talked about, um, especially for like, a like a question answer kind of video, um, leave them down below. All right. That's all. I'll talk to you guys later.